a film about a retired hitman who left behind his life of crime because he found the love of his life. He got married, settled down, and finally found peace until that love was taken away by life itself. But now even that the only reason for him to be at peace is gone, he has somehow still held himself together and resist the thrill of falling back into his old life because God knows a big part of him enjoyed it and still wants some part of it. Throughout the film, we witness how great John is at killing people and he reaps some intense thrills out of his violent rampages. And this is what this action thriller is about. It's about building John first and action second. For example, the feeling of love and loss. The very first thing we see John go through is the realization of receiving love and then losing it just like that. But to make matters easy, he receives a pet dog from his passed away wife so that John can stay connected to the feeling of love and caring for somebody because his wife knew that after she's gone, John would never be able to love anyone or anything until and unless it connects him to her. Now that John without a word transits into his new silent life, the ambience that is built around him somewhat makes you want to be there just to get some part of that silence so you can appreciate the happy loudness in your own life. But now even though John has successfully settled into his new life without his wife, some part of him loves to pick a fight as evident by this scene. How much? Excuse me? How much for the car? She's not for sale. Oh, I love dogs. Lucy was suka yet, Sveitsan. I want a suka yet. But as he gave it to his dark side for a millisecond, he was able to channel all that anger away by taking it all out on his car. By this point in the film, I realized the biggest element of why the whole John Wick character worked so well this far in the story is because of Keanu Reeves playing this character. There's something in his eyes that just speaks painfully whenever the focus is there. To support my theory of Keanu Reeves making John Wick working so well is to just take a look at this walking style and see what is Reeves trying to convey with it. He's laid back, exhausted, chilled, angry. He knows things haven't quite worked out, but he must go on. And he's willing to do whatever it takes to find some small amount of peace for just a little bit, even if it's for just a second. Reeves was able to communicate all these thoughts just with his walking style, which is exploding with mystery, making you wonder how he did it and made it look so effortless. Now in continuation of communicating complex thoughts with his walk, just take a listen to the sadness and determination in this voice tone. Is it here? Now even when John is not around his enemies, the thought of intelligently fearing him is always in their hearts. Just take a look at this scene of how the character of Vigo responds towards his son after finding out that he messed up with John Wick. It's not what you did, son, that angers me so. It's who you did it to. Who? The f nobody? That nobody is John Wick. When you look at the character of Losef, the one word that comes to mind is irresponsibility. 
which makes you realize that it's probably irresponsibility that has made John stand where he is because if he would have been more careful with his life choices he probably wouldn't have ended up being an assassin and perhaps the universe would not have punished him by taking away his wife when you take a look at these three scenes one by one you realize that all these actions are connected in the meaning and use of with which John channels his anger away. But there is a point when he realizes that he has no choice but to resort to his old and the best way he knows of getting rid of his anger. Let us not resort to our baser instincts and handle this like civilized men to move on. Take a listen to the music over here and realize that it's not there to build a feel in the scene, but instead the music exists in John's head, which drives him in impossible situations and keeps him determined and alive for the next hurdle. After building John up till this moment as a lovable, sad, determined and a badass character, take a look at how brilliantly the filmmakers were able to convey John's transition back into his nitty gritty action life with this brilliantly edited and smoothly paced sequence. This action scene made me think about Nolan's action scenes and how imaginatively he designs them but falls a little bit back due to his camera placement and editing of the sequence. But here everything seems to fall in place beautifully and this beauty lays the foundation for the rest of the story and the brilliant character building we get to experience and become part of. It's personal. In the end. John Wick was about this man who the universe just would not put out of his misery because God still has plans for him. It's because of what the character of Losev did to him that he was forced back into his old life and get rid of an entire criminal organization. Even when he himself was thinking that this is it, someone was just around the corner to bail him out. Even when he continues to get beaten, bloodied, battered and keep on losing cherished ones, the universe somehow gets him up and keeps him going because God is just not done with him yet. People keep asking if I'm back and I haven't really had an answer. But now yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. John Wick is a character that finds and gathers himself up in these small moments of silence which connects to all of us and that inspired me to make this video about him. So if you liked it, be sure to click the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned to some fun film philosophy every Monday. So in the hopes of connecting with film lovers all over the world, this is Mr. Zcon in the making of a great story.